The Hoffman 2350 entry-level wheel balancer is designed for single bay shops and quick lube facilities. The 2350 is equipped with balancing features found on more expensive machines, yet is affordably priced. Instructions on use, calibration, and operational requirements of the machine are covered in this instructional video course material. Before using the Hoffman Geodyna 2350 wheel balancer, you should become familiar with the terminology and location of the machine's components. The balancer is equipped with a range of mounting cones that allows mounting wheels with various center hole diameters. A pressure cone or a pressure disc is integrated with the clamping nut to secure the wheel on the shaft. There are also various optional adapters to allow balancing of a wide variety of specialty wheels. The front panel of the Geodyna 2350 contains the keypad that is used to initiate functions or instructions and allows the input of tire and wheel data into the balancer. For example, entry of rim diameter that is read from the tire sidewall is entered via the balancer keypad. Press and hold the respective function key while the wheel is rotated to change the desired value. Release the key and the data is stored. The machine has a pedal-operated main shaft lock used to retain the wheel in the correction position. The start key on the control panel is used to begin the balancing process. Immediately below the start key is the stop key. When pressed, it will interrupt the measuring process and stop the balancer shaft rotation. The function keys for wheel distance, width, and diameter are used to manually enter the wheel dimensions. The ProMatch button starts an optimization program for performing premium wheel servicing. The clear mode is performed when the key is pressed briefly. Modes are returned to standard. Press and hold the key for three seconds and the previous modes of operation will be restored. The Calibrate key, when pressed briefly, sets the machine in the user calibration mode. The key with a G at the top and OZ at the bottom changes the weight units for imbalance readings from grams to ounces. The function keys on the right are dual position and provide for two distinct functions per key. The ALU, ALU plus key changes balancing modes. When the key is pressed on the bottom ALU plus function, it sets the machine in the ALU plus mode. This enables the automatic distance gauge arm to measure first the left hand distance and then the right hand hidden weight. The spoke key enters the number of spokes for the hidden spoke placement mode. Keep the key pressed on top and rotate the wheel to set or change the number of spokes. The bottom part of the key is operator that recalls and stores wheel profiles for up to four different operators. This is especially useful for a busy shop that is balancing wheels on several vehicles simultaneously. The RV-SD key, when pressed on top, changes the fine resolution to increments for RV light truck. The SD function is used to select display of dynamic or static imbalance. When pressed on top, the fine INT key shows the weight amount reading with the higher resolution. As long as the key is pressed, the display shows the actual imbalance in the wheel instead of the rounded value. When pressed on the bottom, the INT key switches to the patch balance mode. In addition, the height to width ratio specified on the tire has to be entered by pressing the diameter key and rotating the wheel. The digital readout displays left and right weight amounts, location for wheel weight placement, and operational messages and data. During the balancing operation, the left of the display window is dedicated data and inputs related to the left plane and the right display for the right plane. The direction indicator graphically informs the operator the direction to rotate the tire to locate the imbalance position. The center LED indicates when correction position in the left plane has been perfectly located. The measuring run indicators flash alternately in the top and bottom panel during measurement, after pressing the start key, and during pro match. 
weight position LEDs change with successive changes of the ALU key depending on the wheel type being balanced. Top valve stem flashes during pro match when the valve must be positioned perpendicular to the main shaft. After the valve has been placed perpendicular to the main shaft and the pro match key is pressed, the LED is turned off. The SAPE symbol illuminates as the distance lever is moved and gradually the remaining bar segments light up. On reaching the correction position, the segment furthest to the right lights up and the speaker beeps. Prior to balancing, inflate the tire to the correct pressure. Check for and remove any foreign material inside the tire. Remove the old wheel weights. Ensure that the tire and wheel are free of excessive dirt, rust, and large stones. Nearly all standard wheels and most alloy wheels will be mounted with centering cones. Mounting cones, balancer backing plate, and vehicle wheel pilot holes must be free of dirt, rust, etc. to get the proper balance. Optional adapters are available for many custom wheels. Mount the proper cone against the spring plate followed by mounting the wheel on the cone taper. Place the locking nut assembly onto the threaded shaft and tighten until it makes contact with the wheel. Use the wheel width calipers to measure the width. Press and hold the wheel width key. Rotate the wheel to set the value for the width on the display. Release the key to set the value. Note the wheel diameter on the tire sidewall. Press and hold the diameter key and rotate the wheel to enter the diameter. Release the function key to complete the entry. To automatically set the wheel distance, pull the gauge arm out of the cabinet and apply the gauge on the rim flange. Start the measuring run by pressing the start key. The balancer spins and measures the imbalance. The wheel stops automatically and weight amounts are shown in the display. Index the wheel into the correct left position following the direction indicated. The respective correct position is indicated by only the center element of the direction indicator being illuminated. Depress the foot brake and in this position attach a balance weight in the correct position at the top of the rim. Repeat the positioning for the outer plane and attach the correct weight. Press start to begin a check run. Both digital readouts will display 0.00, .00 and the OK indicators are displayed. When it is desirable to place weights behind the spokes, the hidden spoke placement or HSP mode is activated automatically in the ALU2, ALU2P, ALU3, and ALU3P balancing modes. Press and hold the spoke key on top and rotate the wheel to set or change the number of spokes. The spoke LED lights up and the number of spokes is displayed. Slide the distance gauge lever out to select the left side correction weight position. LEDs on the control panel illuminate as the distance gauge is moved. Hold the gauge in this position until a beep is heard. Next, slide the gauge further out to measure the right side hidden weight position. Start the balancing run. After the measurement, the display shows the weight amounts. Turn the wheel until the LH center LED is illuminated and fit the weight to the left side of the wheel. If ALU2P was selected, Remove the tape and fit the adhesive weight into the distance gauge holder. With the center LED illuminated, step on the foot pedal lock, slide the holder out, press the holder against the wheel, and push the ejector to attach the weight onto the surface of the wheel. Rotate the wheel so that any spoke is at 12 o'clock. In this position, press the spoke key. The divided amount of imbalance of the hidden spoke placement is displayed for the first adhesive weight in the right plane. Index the wheel to the exact position for correction in the first position and hold the wheel in this position with the main shaft lock. Attach a weight in this position. If ALU2 or ALU3, 
attach the adhesive weight directly above the center of the rim flange flat surface. If ALU-2P or ALU-3P, use the distance gauge holder and shaft lock to attach the adhesive weight. Now rotate the wheel to the second position and hold with the shaft lock. Fit the second weight behind the spoke in the same way. Perform a check spin. The display will read 0.00 and OK. If a vibration is present after balancing, check for stones caught in the tire tread, tire slippage on the wheel, incorrectly mounted wheel, imbalanced wheel covers, excessive radial or lateral runout in the tire or wheel, damaged wheel bolt holes, worn universal joints, imbalanced brake rotors or drums, worn or damaged balancer accessories, balancer in need of calibration. Other than periodic calibration checks, the Hoffman Geodyna 2350 wheel balancer requires almost no maintenance. The bearings are greased for life and sealed. The drive belt requires no periodic checks. Keep the balancer and the working space around the balancer clean and free of old wheel weights. Do not use weight pliers or other tools to press the function keys. These simple maintenance tips will keep your Geodyna 2350 wheel balancer performing for years to come. To start the calibration procedure, remove all cones and spacers from the balancer shaft. Press the code key. The balancer displays the reading C14. Reading 1 and start are displayed. Press the start key to begin the calibration spin. On completion of the first spin, reading 2 and start are displayed. Screw the calibration weight into the threaded hole in the shaft backing plate. Press the start key to begin a second calibration spin with the special weight fitted on the shaft backing plate. On completion of the calibration measurement, a three-tone signal is heard and calibration is completed. The machine is now operative and the basic readings are displayed. Remove the calibration weight from the shaft backing plate and return it to the storage.